ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਖੜਕ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਜੀ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਯੂ ਔਨ ਆਰ ਫਰਸਟ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਆਫ ਸਬਕਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸਪੈਂਟ ਨੀਅਰਲੀ 3 ਡੈਕੇਡਸ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਨ ਨਿਊਜ਼ੀਲੈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਯੂਰ ਰਿਵਿਊਜ਼ ਵਿਦ ਆਰ ਆਡੀਅנס ਟੁਡੇ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਟੈਲ ਮੀ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਸ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਲਾਸਟ 10 ਇਅਰਸ ਇਨ ਯੂਰ ਆਈਜ਼ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਨਿਊਜ਼ੀਲੈਂਡਰ ਇਨ ਬੋਥ um terms uh, negative and positive aspects please in new zealand since i came out here has grown big time especially in auckland and it's more competitive markets immigration it's a multicultural society now and auckland wasn't used to be like this before and moreover now as a community wise chinese koreans indians and uh, it's more opportunity as well at the same time because our dollar is strong and exports are good now we having a free trade agreement with china and i think we are in a progress close to india as well fta will be done so john key is showing a good leadership for last two terms hopefully he'll do more on the other hand in uh, along with the growth in economy and population so do you uh, would you agree that uh, in contrast uh, along with the growth in economy there is uh, huge growth in uh, crime uh, family violence drug abuse and uh, these evils are also on a rising trend yeah i wouldn't say it's on a rising trend but there is a point of concern uh to everyone really to every new zealander which uh, as ourselves as a seven day business owners there's always a little danger in the mind that uh, we were a small business people could not afford one or two staff members where now owner has to spend his whole time with it because it's a small business due to they feel uncomfortable and due to the crime scene but at the end of the day it comes with it i suppose and with the infrastructure i think transport system can do a bit better and with the railway system because it's a lot of stress on the roads time consuming and uh, petrol costs so it will help uh moreover with family violence and alcohol in every 5 meters there is a liquor store and in south auckland especially where it's a poor community and it's easily available and not much jobs available for those poor people uh, i won't say poor because it's not my call that they are poor but end of the day they are social economic economic areas where i think we can do without the liquor stores so do you are very much involved in community sports uh, gurdwara community work uh, you play golf yourself um, and i get got a chance to play with you other day i had a good time i did notice that um, uh, you your kiwi friends um, they admire your sense of humor they they feel that you are one of them and they really like you for you for um, uh, your uh, happy go lucky nature what do you think that why most of our new immigrants uh, lack from that angle and uh, they do not get adjusted easily uh, feel hardships and uh, what message uh, you would like to give to our new immigrants or new students in the country so that uh, yeah, it's a it's a touchy question it's uh, depends on circumstances of each individual i'll say where my background i come from i come from a convent school background S- grew up in chandigarh which is i studied in punjab university so my education was always a bit beneficial where majority of other people come from villages education not that good and so they find communication skills and uh, to communicating with other people a bit hard and so they get locked into their own society or own to their group members and they don't do much other than their normal stuff which they used to do back home where now they have to realize if you come to this country that this is home now so forget about the back what we are who we are 
what not, what we used to do there. So we have to make sure we take the both goods of the both cultures. So you can take the good culture from a Kiwi land and good culture, good from Punjabi culture, Sikh culture. So we can integrate and develop together and become one successful or, you know, good community together rather than side by side. And I'll say golf, you mentioned golf. Golf is a good, good game. And it's a best game to intermingle because you can play with anyone and people think it's a rich man sport but it is not in New Zealand back home it is here it's a easily available it's a most easily golf courses are easily accessible to any anyone in New Zealand and for reasonable amount of dollars and I think I encourage our own community members rather than playing cricket they should go and play golf because it's an individual sport you will see more success and our presence will be felt out there and I think I'm in Oakland the only Sikh who, with Durban who plays golf. Maybe all in New Zealand, I'm not sure. Well, that's strange to know. Well, what do you think, Siddhuji? What's the reason why um, uh, people in uh, our community, um, Sikh community, not encouraged to play such a beautiful game? Uh, especially when we see uh, Sikh community is a very lively, very uh, happy-go-lucky community and um, we have more than five Gurdwaras, I think, in Auckland? Oh, there are eight now. So yeah. there are eight now. But at the end of the day, it's uh, see, it's up to the Sikh leaders to develop that. And I think uh, they are busy themselves because any new immigrant comes in first. First of all, they have to establish their family, their kids, themselves. Then they got to think about the community. So obviously, if you're financially not too good, so you don't have no time. But I was fortunate enough, I was lucky enough, one of those lucky ones which I have business and I established myself pretty good in New Zealand. And I'm sure I have a lot of Kiwi friends and my sense of humor, I think you go out there and uh, show your uh, sense of humor, I'm sure people will accept you with open hands. Thank you Siddhuji. It was really nice to have you on our show and I'm sure that our audience would have enjoyed uh, your conversation and your views. Thank you very much. We will um, have you sometime in future on our show. Welcome.